Nolagent here at Krabby Jack's. Good stuff in here, yeah! Welcome to Nolagent. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are visiting Krabby Jack's to enjoy the famous New Orleans food known as the Po' Boy, which is a great sandwich. Krabby Jack's is owned by the same chef that owns the famous New Orleans restaurant, Giacomo's Cafe. Krabby Jack's is located in New Orleans at 428 Jefferson Highway, which is about 19 minutes and seven miles away from the French Quarter. We are on a travel search for the best po' boy options in New Orleans, and Krabby Jack's is noted for their overstuffed po' boys, and I think they have the best in class for their roasted duck po' boy. Krabby Jack's opened up back in 2002, and they've become one of the most popular po' boy joints for lunch, as they don't serve dinner at this joint. So let's go ahead and head on inside and check this place out. Krabby Jack's is right on the border between Jefferson Parish and Orleans Parish, where New Orleans is located, which puts us in a weird spot as the entire rest of Louisiana is not under mask mandates or any other COVID restrictions, but right here in Orleans Parish, we're still under restrictions of mask mandates. So it's such a weird situation. Let's check out these specials. So they have crawfish etouffee, shrimp and tasso pasta, spicy fried chicken po' boy, and a Florida breeze, which is smoked ham and roast beef. So the ordering process is still the same as it was before the pandemic. You just look at the menu and order up at the counter. And then they call your name and you get your po' boy or other food you order. So they have overstuffed po' boys with shrimp, oyster, half shrimp and half oyster, catfish, roast beef, french fry, and you can add cheese. Then specialty po' boys, the slow roasted duck, oh, oh, oh that is special. The fried green tomato, a cochon de lait. And you can also get platters and trays available for all po' boys. And they have bag lunches with a six inch po' boy with a bag of zaps and a can of soda. Oh, and their fried chicken is amazing here. It's the same fried chicken you get at their other restaurant, Giacomo's. So the famous fried chicken has a three piece dark, a two piece white, a half chicken with four pieces, a whole chicken with two sides and eight pieces of chicken, six pieces fried wing lunch, then they have plate lunches with a shrimp platter, an oyster platter, a catfish platter, a seafood platter with shrimp, oysters, and catfish, black and gulf fish with chipotle hollandaise, three fish tacos with fresh salsa, shrimp creole with rice, and a creole duck quesadilla. Then over in the next column, we have the lighter side with grilled chicken Caesar, grilled chicken breastplate, gulf fish with lemon, or try our shrimp po' boy or shrimp platter grilled a la carte, chicken andouille gumbo, fried green tomatoes with shrimp roumalade, crispy brussels sprouts, fried pickles, fried eggplant, side salad, boudin balls, sides, coleslaw, potato salad, french fries, jalapeno mac and cheese, jambalaya, onion rings, corn mac cho, zaps, chips, and then we have a selection of drinks. On the other side of the menu, we have smoked plates, available Thursday through Saturday, half rack of ribs with one side, full rack with two sides, half smoked chicken with one side, a whole smoked chicken with two sides. Well, having to pay before we eat runs the surprise of what we're gonna show you that we're gonna eat. So you can see on my receipt here, I got a slow roasted half duck po' boy for $13. And then I got a whole shrimp po' boy for $14.50. And I got a bottled water because all they have is bottled drinks right now due to COVID. So the total with tip was $36.03 for my one and a half po' boys. So Krabby Jack's is a bit of an interesting po' boy place as it's one of the few po' boy joints that doesn't serve beer and other alcohol, which is pretty common for most of the po' boy places in the area. They also have a lot of folk type art on the walls and a lot of it is for sale so you can get some items in here if you want to pick up a little artwork. So they do have an interesting folk style of design in here with all sorts of fun stuff to look at. So it really does brighten the space up and make it a little more fun to have stuff to look at while you eat. So the dining area is just this little front room here, so it fills up fast too during lunchtime. So if you're not here by about 11 o'clock, you're going to be standing in line to sit down or you're going to have to get it to go. And they do a lot of carry out business here. So there are the tables and then there are stools at a little bar against the windows. They also have a t-shirt if you need that. And you can also get a cup with your meal here, so you can collect quite a few of these if you visit here and get a cup every time. I used to have quite a collection. 
All right, here is my Duck Po Boy. Ho, 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 ho. This is the best Duck Po Boy in all of New Orleans, I believe. And uh, actually, Duck Po Boys are not that common. So there's a few places that have them. There's not too many of them, but oh my goodness. This one is just soaked in gravy. This roasted duck po' boy is so delicious. And this is just half a po' boy. So a whole one is even bigger than this one. So look at this thing. Look at all this meat on here. This is a lot of food. This is definitely what we call an overstuffed po' boy. So uh, this is gonna be a lot of food today. And uh, it's going to be definitely a challenge getting through all of just this delicious duck po boy. This stuff is so wonderful though. I'm already getting drowned in gravy. There's so much of it here. It's just, ooh, and these wonderful tomatoes add a little extra flavor. I've got some Creole mustard on here. Probably should have added some cheese, but as much food as I've got to eat through today, I just thought I'd leave the cheese off for the sake of trying to uh, reduce the amount of calories because uh, I'm not beach body ready yet. And summer's getting here fast, so I've got to get a little uh, tightened up because I'm a little loose in the cage, as uh, some P90X would say. So <laughs> this po' boy goes down so easy, though. My goodness, just there's so much gravy on here. It's so delicious, moist, juicy, flavorful. The duck is just perfectly cooked. And it's definitely one of the best duck dishes I've ever had of any type. This is just such a wonderfully cooked duck. And uh, it keeps falling out, so I've got to like rebuild my po' boy. Eating it with one hand uh, certainly is not the easiest thing with all of the huge amount of meat that's inside of it. Even with two hands, it would still be messy. And I'd have all kinds of stuff falling out. Giacomo's is just famous for the third meal because after you finish the two halves of your po' boy, you're gonna have a whole third meal of additional stuff left in the bottom of the paper they serve the po' boy in to have more food. Okay, I think I'm about polished off one half already. So, now we've still got this whole other half and still quite a lot of meat has fallen out already. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a hard thing to finish all of this food. And uh, I really find that the duck po' boy is so rich, it's hard to eat more than a half of it. So uh, I would recommend starting with just a half. A whole one could be just over the top, too rich, and really challenging to finish. Usually just a half would be enough for me, but for the sake of this video, and all of you out there, I'm gonna sacrifice and uh, eat a little more po' boy action in this video. So <laughs> we'll see what happens with that. We finish with this one. So this one's going down fast and easy because oh, it's so delicious. It is always juicy and flavorful and pretty darn easy to swallow this thing down with all the wonderful gravy on it. It just keeps everything so delicious and moist and mmm, just the flavor stays with you. It's so wonderful. This is one of my favorite po' boys and I would say best in class for the duck po' boy. Look at the gravy all over my hands and mouth. I'm a mess. Oh, but guess what? Third meal is right here. Look at all of this. I can make a whole other po' boy with this if I wanted to. So we're gonna uh, go on some keto diet now. We're gonna just go all protein. Mmm, yeah, all right. I don't know, I've never tried to order just the uh, roasted duck as an entree. Maybe that'll be an option when I have to take a break from all the bread for a while to get beach body ready. Let's see. <laughs> so this duck is uh, definitely worth the extra exercise that I'll have to do, but hey, you know, it's all about a balance in life. You gotta eat a little, drink a little, dance a little, as we say during Mardi Gras time. So uh, you gotta enjoy some delicious duck po' boy now and again. Ooh, it's so wonderful. So if you're ever in New Orleans, you need to add this duck po' boy to your must-do list because it is that good. This is definitely one of my top picks for all the food options you can get in New Orleans because it is quite wonderful. And just like I've destroyed this duck po' boy, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and smash that thumbs up because you too will crave this gravy all over your face and hands like I do right now. Well, we still have a lot of work to do, so it's time for us to move on to the whole shrimp po boy. Oh goodness, so I'm already very full from just the half duck. 
So, what are we gonna do with this whole fried shrimp oh boy? Look at this monster. It's already starting to escape. The oil from the fried shrimp is leaking through, and just what a gigantic pile of shrimp. Whoa, this is gonna be a lot of work to eat this. Oh, so this is what a fried seafood overstuffed po' boy looks like. This po' boy is longer than my forearm. Oh my goodness. This is uh, gonna be quite a task. And see all the shrimp just falling out of it. You definitely get a third meal with this. Oh, let's dig in. Whoa, what a big long sandwich. Just half of it's a meal, so ooh. On top of the duck po' boy, I don't think I'll be able to finish another half. What do you think? Comment below. Do you think I'll even be able to finish this half? Much less the entire thing. Oh, this is quite a large amount of food. This is quite a huge challenge. I can put some food down sometimes, but when the bread gets involved, oh, that just, uh, I can't handle nearly as many carbs as I can with protein. I can eat a lot of meat, can't eat a whole lot of bread usually, and there's a lot of bread in these po' boys. But it's nice, delicious, airy, fluffy New Orleans French bread. So that might give me a slight edge. So we'll see what happens, because it does taste quite nice. So we'll see, huh? I am putting it down quite fast, and uh, the shrimp are uh, doing pretty decent at staying in overall. There's still a few that escape here and there, as would be expected with a sandwich like this. And usually I would recommend getting some cheese to kind of glue all the seafood inside so it wouldn't escape as much. Now look at all this left over. This is literally a whole nother po' boy's worth of shrimp in here. So this is a whole different po' boy I'm gonna eat here. And we still have the huge other half. So, ha ha ha. So we're gonna do a little uh, keto Po' oh boy now, although I think all the breading on the shrimp will run that theory, so you can't, I don't think you can have fried, uh, breaded anything on the keto, so that would be a definite no-no in my understanding of the thing, so. But these fried shrimp are delicious, so I'm gonna eat them, because I do love some delicious fried shrimp. And for all of you out there, you do need to see how wonderful the fried shrimp the new ones are. Oh, so we'll call this, uh, the, half of the half third meal maybe because um my goodness after the half of the duck po boy and then the uh, leftover duck i ate and then the half of the large whole shrimp po boy and then all these leftover shrimp it's added up to quite a lot of food on that day so i'm slowing up and uh, i think i've polished off fully the half of the shrimp po boy and what fell out of it now so i've got a whole half left i don't know i might have to throw in the towel here and have a little leftover for later and i'm done can't eat anymore look how much is left there's no way it's going inside my belly so destroy that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up comment below let me know what you thought about this video and what's your favorite po boy the duck or the shrimp or something else so, thanks so much to everybody at Krabby Jack's for many years of fantastic po' boys, the specials, and the fried chicken. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in and watching the Nola Jet channel, especially to my Patreons. So, make sure, if you haven't yet, to go ahead and destroy that thumbs up. Comment below, and while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon page, because hey, I work for tips, and I appreciate any assistance with that. And if you could also refer this video to any of your friends and contacts, that really would help me. And... If you haven't done it yet, make sure you destroy that subscribe button, which will be the little circle of my head in there, and the little rectangles on each side of my head will be links to additional Nola Jet videos. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people.